Hey guys, this is Sketchbike here and welcome to my new channel. What I'm gonna do is take your questions and what you want to learn when it comes to sketching and make kind of short tutorial videos, try to help you get better at sketching and also talk about design careers. If you want to become a designer, if you have any questions uh, about that, just email me at the sketch at gmail.com and I will take questions every single week and make videos like this on it. So I made a video on, um, uh, I think it was my Instagram where I asked what it is you want to learn or what you're struggling with when it comes to sketching. And a lot of you had some problems with perspective. I think perspective is a big, big deal when it comes to sketching. I know this for a fact. I had a lot of problems with perspective myself uh, when I started up sketching and I still sometimes have problems with perspective. But in this video, we're going to talk about three simple steps to become better at sketching in perspective. So step number one is to use a reference. So a lot of people don't want to use references when they're sketching. And I, I don't I don't understand why, because it's such a useful technique to uh, sketch anything that you want also helping with uh, proportions let's take this cup here for example let's just use this as a reference so now we can see from this perspective we can see that we have um, a or oh, this is almost like a squared out box so we want to start sketching a little bit like this from the angle that we're looking at it from and keep it very simple so the step number two in learning how to sketching perspective is to first of all use a reference second is to simplify the geometries you can see that this cup here has some um, smooth angles to it but i'm not worried about that right now it has smooth or cornered radi radiuses all over the place i'm not gonna worry about that at this point right now i'm trying to get the perspective right first of all and then we can start worrying about the details of this sketch. So that's really important to think about is to just simplify whatever it is you're sketching before you go into the details. So right here, you can see that we have sort of a, a kind of like a box. It doesn't look like much at the moment. So what we want to do now is look at this cup a little more in uh, uh, detail and see the radiuses and see the curvatures and what's going on. The third step for sketching, uh, learning how to sketch in perspective is something I called cloud sketching, which I teach a lot in my courses, but I'm going to show you that here right now as well. And that is to start with just a cloud of whatever it is you're sketching. It doesn't have to be precise at all. Just figure out the uh, sort of the outline or the big outline of what it is you're sketching. And then from there, you start to uh, modify and go into the details of the sketch. Same thing here, it's it's kind of tricky to show this on with this specific uh, object because it's such a simple object, but you want to frame it in a way and then you just adjust as you go. When you see that the perspective is a little off, you can just adjust as you go. It doesn't have to be perfect when you start out. If you think you're gonna be great at sketching when you're starting out, you're gonna set yourself up for so much disappointment because nobody is great at anything they just started doing. So here, from here, for example, now we can add the radiuses and the corners and the, sur the, the soft surfacing to this design if we want to. You can see they have a little bit of radius. We have some thickness to it up here. So let's add a little bit of curvature in here and try to get these details right as we go along. It is a very uh, kind of squared off cup as I showed you. So you want to have still a square, but all the corners and all the edges are supposed to be rounded. So we're adding that once we have the perspective down correctly. So first of all, there are several steps to this. First of all, get the perspective right. Adjust as you go. The sooner you just put lines down and the faster you adjust, the sooner you will get to your end, end result. The key here is to just not be afraid of a uh, blank sheet of paper and just have fun with it. It's just a sketch and it, you know what? The good thing is there is more paper. So you can just, if you don't end up liking this sketch, you can just scrap it and then you can start over. It's very simple. So I'm just adding a couple of curvatures to this design right now, keeping it super simple. Maybe we can add some line weight to this as well. So we have some sort of direction to this and have it be looking like it's actually sitting on a table because if we don't add 
line weight, which we can talk about in another video, it's gonna look like the the object that we're sketching is, is kind of floating in mid air and we don't want that we always want to ground the object that we're sketching and we do that by adding some line weight like i'm doing uh right here so here we have now you can see we started with the box and now we added some curvature to this design and what that does is all of a sudden we have some some more softness in the in, in this shape and that's exactly my point here so if you want to become better at sketching in perspective key things are first of all keep it very simple when you start out don't worry too much about getting your perspective right uh, right with your first couple of lines and instead just put the lines out and then you just adjust the lines as you go along and that way you can see where things are going wrong and you can always reference back to your reference the object that's, that's in front of you and from there you just look at that image reference and look at your picture or your sketch and you start to modify it as you go along and once you're happy with the perspective that's when you go into the details such as these rounded corners that i have right here so what i'm gonna do now is just finish this sketch as well on this side and then show you the two final sketches that we have on the paper There we are guys i actually i found this uh, i found this marker just uh, in my old box there and <laughs> it's super dry i'm not sure if this actually added something to this sketch but i wanted to add a little bit of markers to this uh, to these uh, cups anyway so that's what i did but those are the three simple steps if you want to start becoming better at sketching in perspective first of all use references don't be ashamed of copying objects that you see and try to uh, copy the exact shape and the exact perspective that's how you learn step two is to keep using simple geometries use cylinders boxes and stuff like that to build up the object and if you want to go in further than that you can start using uh, cloud sketching which means that you encapsulate the object that you're trying to sketch in in sort of a, a, a cloud or a silhouette and then you start to carve out with the pen the different details of the of the uh, object i might do a different video on cloud sketching i know that sounds a little weird but it's actually a very useful technique that's helped a lot of students in my classes and if you want to uh, learn more about how to become a designer download my ebook it's totally free at the sketch academy Dot com. It's 10 essentials for every designer. I think that's going to help you out. Don't forget to email in your questions or if you have any sketches you want me to take a look at and make a video on to uh, give you some feedback, just email that to the sketch at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.